If I were asked, um, you know, if somebody asked me what would you want people to know about Gene Cernan, I think the biggest thing would be that um, he considered himself to be a, uh, you know, middle American kid who uh, had a big dream when he was a child and decided that that dream was worth pursuing uh, and ended up becoming the last person to walk on the moon, something that is absolutely incredible. But also somebody who um, in, in his last months of living, uh, his drive, his motivation was trying to pass that same uh, desire on to young people today to help them understand that just as he did it coming from small town America, they could do the same thing. You know, if you want to look at, at his life, particularly the latter part of his life and what he was doing with relation to STEM, because that was very important to him. He, um, you know, he sat for a book, which is always, I, I understand it's painful when you do that, uh, but he, he sat for a book that told the story of his life, and then he got together with a documentarian and did a documentary on his life called Last Man on the Moon, and he has, his desire was to use that movie as a source of conversation to travel to youth groups and college campuses, again, to, to allow people to see that somebody from small town America uh, could in fact have giant dreams and could dream to do impossible things and, and go on to do that if they were willing to study and work hard and pursue fields of endeavor that, that were pretty difficult at times in the technical field, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So that was something about which he was really passionate. He was just an incredible human being who, uh, who was passionate about his country uh, and passionate about his dream and wanting to have others uh, recognize the fact that they too could, could share that same dream and go even farther than he had. He would not like to be forever the last man to walk on the moon. Space.com.